You know, when you think about Zippo, you probably think of the old classic Zippo lighter. Man, these things are badass and piece of American masculinity that I don't think too far people enough give credit for. And I've lit in quite a few stogies with this thing, but there is more to Zippo than meets the eye. It's more than just a dadgum lighter. And in this video, I want to help break down some of the things that I have found about Zippo. Now, this box is my primary uh, at home firebox kit. I keep all of my extra hoo-yahs, my fire starters, my extra ferro rods, my petroleum jelly, just all that stuff I keep in there. Uh, for my supply that way you can keep everything nice and organized but I have a couple more things that we're going to add in here and we're going to start using more uh, for my own personal life when I'm out venturing off as well as here on the channel and these things were sent in by a subscriber and so I'm huge stoked on this so I tell you that to tell you that this is not paid I have no idea what how this is going to end up and we're going to see how these things work so we're going to look at some matches, emergency uh, fire kit, and their ferro rod. As you can see, these things are unopened, so we're going to use them for the first time. And we'll look at the Mag Strike ferro rod fire starting kit. It tells us that we should be able to unleash a spark like no other. It's got a snap closure, triangular shape, so it should be a good grip. A 5 16 ferro rod. Of course, you got the internal chamber and some ways to keep this thing secured with a lanyard. So we'll go ahead and bust this dude open. That secures really well. Should keep uh, water out of it. Yeah, man, that thing is tight. You got a little lanyard hole there for some 550 cord or whatever you want to do. It is nice that you got a handle, right? A lot of ferro rods, you just have the rod. So this does have a high vis handle which is great so if you drop it you know you should be able to find it it throws some sparks great little add-on uh, for a fire starting kit for sure Next up, we'll take a quick look at the emergency fire kit. It's got a waterproof storage canister, a flint spark wheel, molded lanyard attachment, and some tinder that we can use here. So you got your main body with a little striker, right? And then you have your tinder pieces and screw top. And again, I like it because you got a nice red high viz. You drop this thing, you should be able to find it no problem. And this bottom one should be able to unscrew there. You can replace the flint if you need to. And then your tender pieces go right in. Of course, you could put anything else in there, right? Talked earlier about using cotton balls and Vaseline. You could fit all kinds of stuff in here. We'll try one of these guys out, see how well she does. Uh, but it would fit all of them in there. And you can buy replacements for those as well. All nice and secure. The good thing about the way that these are designed, you could do the same thing with, you know, again, some Vaseline balls. You can set this on a stick so that your hands don't have to be in the fire. You can stick this in the fire. At least that's, that's what they tell us. Rough this up a little bit. You got an arrow to tell you which way that the sparks go out. There she goes. But that thing should burn for a few minutes. It's like roasting a marshmallow. So we got the Zippo Stormproof Matches. Again, you got a weather sealed container. 
the ability to put some lanyards on it. Nice, large container, comes sealed, and these things are freaking huge. Look how freaking big that match is, right? And on the bottom, and extremely tight. We got our striker on the bottom. Ain't blowing that out. Now take a look at the difference between the Zippo matches and the typical stormproof matches that you get at the local big box store. Team, let me know what you think about this thing, right? There's a lot of gimmicks out there. I don't think that these things uh, seem too gimmicky. They're not overly expensive, and I think they're going to be value added for my kit bag, whether I'm looking to add in multiple layers in some of my other kits. All right, I've got a lot of backpacks and a lot of things that I carry, as well as just having around in the event that I do need to make a fire. I got more things that I have now in my kit bag. So let me know what you think about these things down in the comments below. We will continue to keep this conversation rolling. As always, I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked. More men now than ever before are suffering from an outbreak that scientists now call Low M. You and your compadres have already been exposed to this deadly and viral disease. But there is a cure. For your family, for our nation, we need you to take this now as quickly as possible to reverse the damages before it's too late. The Tears of Akami are a proprietary blend, a clinically proven set of virtues, values, and beliefs guaranteed to get you stoked and return balance to your masculinity. Discover more today at youtube.com slash stokermatic. Team, if you want to master your craft and develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so that you can stay up to date on future content. Consider becoming a channel member. It's going to give you exclusive access to content not available to anybody else. I appreciate you guys. Until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.